Hi, welcome to my Caribbean kitchen. Today we're going to be doing two fish recipes. So first up is flying fish. But have you ever wondered how the fish gets from the sea to your plate? Well, boy, did I find out. The life of a fisherman is not an easy one. We set out at the crack of dawn with Lionel one morning from the historic Bridgetown Harbor where all the cruise ships come in. Today, his fishing ground is 11 miles to the south of Barbados. I learned something new today. He poured some cooking oil onto the surface of the water to make it transparent so that we could see what was swimming beneath. The nets are then cast the water is chummed and the waiting begins. As the sun rises higher, the fish swim nearer to the surface attracted by the chum and also the increasing warmth of the water. And boy oh boy, the nets are waiting for them. They become trapped in the gill net. Just look at their silvery blue bodies glistening in the sunlight. It is a fascinating experience to watch the gill net fill up. After a while, the net is hauled in and the fish are extracted. This process can be repeated many times during the day. On this occasion, we set out for home a little bit early because my sea legs were not holding up as well as they could and Lionel and Bertie felt sorry for me. But I think they had a good day because we caught 512 flying fish and a 17 pound kingfish. Well, that was an experience. One, I can assure you, I will not forget. But the fish are not ready for your table as yet. So when we got back to shore, we had to take a trip to visit Natalie at the Bridgetown Fishing Complex. And she is going to show us how to prepare it for cooking. First, the fish is scaled. Then it's gutted. And finally, the bones are removed. So now, that's all done. We'll be back in a moment with our first recipe.